Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these sort of origami dresses. They're super cute and easy to make. For this project, you will need a square sheet of paper. It can be any size, uh, depends uh, how big you want your dress to be. So take your paper and fold it in half. Then open and fold the sides in uh, half, so you'll have uh, four quarters. Open again and turn the paper so the right side will be facing yourself. Then pinch the folds and bring them towards the center line. After folding, you'll end up having something like this. Turn around and fold in almost half. You fold up the bottom edge, leaving like one centimeter at the top. Then you fold downward, creasing one centimeter from the bottom. And you'll have this sort of Z shape. Turn again and with the smaller side on the top, you fold each inner corner of the collar 90 degrees. Then you turn around and fold down the collar part. Unfold the collar tabs, holding down the center with one finger. And then you press down the paper. This way you create a triangle cutout. This will be the v-neck of the dress. Now pull the bottom corners outward as far as they go and crease to form the skirt. Use a bone folder to burnish the folds. Turn again and fold uh, the upper side flaps inwards, pressing down the paper, creating like a triangular shape at the bottom of the fold. After folding the top, it's time to adjust the bottom as well. 
so crease the sides of the skirt to form an A-line skirt shape. Just one more fold and we're finished. So fold the upper flaps outwards to form the sleeves. And that's it. This is your origami dress. You can leave it as it is or you can just make another one and then glue them together to create one uh, three-dimensional uh, shape. The advantage of the three-dimensional shape is that it stands on its own. I think this could be used as a table number, you just add the number and add them on a stand or make them 3D to stay on their own. Just add the number of the table. You can make them any size, you can add a ribbon around it or whatever you want to add. Or you can use them to make some lovely cards. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!